Alien Isolation sequel was recently confirmed on the 10th anniversary of its release, and it got me thinking, what would I even want to see in something like a sequel? And after thinking about it for a while, I think I've cooked up some pretty good suggestions. So today, we're going to be talking about the top three things we need in Alien Isolation 2. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alien Isolation is to this day, to this day! one of the most intense survival horror games to ever come out, especially with its terrifying movie monster being the Xenomorph. Now, when it comes to my number one, this one may be a little strange, all things considered. And for it, I will have to talk about spoilers for the newest Alien movie being Alien Romulus. So, just in case you don't want to get spoiled, I'll have a timestamp on screen that you can skip to if you don't want to be spoiled on the most recent movie. Alright, I hope you've cooked off if you're wanting to avoid spoilers, so let's get into point number one, being a new enemy. Now, when it comes to adding another enemy variant, like another type of working Joe, or a survivor with a different weapon type or playstyle, I think that's all good and great, and would definitely help in changing up the gameplay a little bit. But, when I was watching Alien Romulus, it showed me there is a ton of potential in bringing in an evolved or mutated enemy type. And on that thought, obviously I was thinking something more akin to something like The Offspring which was introduced towards the end of the movie. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I was in the theater watching the last leg of the film, I was actually horrified. And I mean that in the best way possible. The design for The Offspring was just so morbid and unsettling that it made me realize I should be feeling this way every time a xenomorph is on screen. But maybe through over the 40 years of the Alien property being out, I've just been a little bit desensitized to how scary their design and even them just being there really is. At least when it comes to them in the movies. Hiding from one in the game makes me scared and scream every single time. But then I was thinking, what if you had the same structure you had in the original game of Alien Isolation? where you're dealing with one primarily for the first third of the game, then the next third is primarily dealing with survivors and working Joes, then the final act, instead of it being multiple aliens or a nest, we deal with a mutated version of a xenomorph. Now, I'm not saying it has to be the offspring. Maybe it could even be another mutation or even a queen variant. It could be something completely original and new, or one of the countless other variations that we've seen through comic adaptations and other mediums for the series. I mean, on screen, right now, I'll showcase some of the ones I'm talking about, and tell me hiding and running away from these wouldn't scare the living hell out of you. Now, Fede Alvarez, the director of Alien Romulus, has already come out and said he actually was really inspired by Alien Isolation, and loved it so much, that he had to incorporate it into his movie in one way or another. So, if you pay really close attention, he actually put the save boxes of Alien Isolation that you use to save your progress in the background of scenes right before a big action sequence was about to happen on the Romulus ship. Personally, I think it would not only be a fantastic and terrifying addition to add some sort of crazy mutation, maybe using the same black goo from the movie series, but if they chose to have it be the offspring or a version of it, I think it would be a great way to reference Fede's work on the franchise as well, especially after saying how much Alien Isolation inspired him throughout his movie making process. Now, moving on to number two of what I think should be incorporated into Alien Isolation 2 would be varying ship features to interact with the in-game setting. Now, in order to truly understand what I mean, I suggest catching my video covering the announcement of Alien Isolation 2, which will be linked in the description down below, where we covered the ending of Alien Isolation and where I think the setting and plot will be going from there. But to sum it up very briefly, more than likely this sequel will be taking place on yet another spaceship or space station, at least in my opinion. And because of this, I think they'll have the ability to add ship or station features that could change elements of gameplay. By this, I mean having certain places where there are panels or power boxes that dictate certain ship features to help you section off or traverse areas of the map differently. For example, maybe we could close off certain vents so that the alien can't come from a particular angle when you're doing something for a mission. Or maybe you can turn off the lights for the area to be able to traverse through a particularly angry group of survivors without being seen. 
and they give you some sort of night vision or way to traverse through it yourself, that way you can actually take advantage of the darkness. We could even touch back on something from Alien Romulus and have gravity play some sort of role in the ship features that help us escape or get to our next objective. These are just the basis of my idea, but I think something like this could work really well to change up gameplay and have different people have different outcomes to their playthrough depending on how they decide to clear a certain area. Finally, moving on to point number 3 of what I think Alien Isolation 2 needs is overhauling the alien to be even scarier and more adaptable. I know what you're thinking, please god no please. But personally, when I think of Alien, I think of one of the ultimate human hunters in the universe that happens to be creepy as hell while doing it. So by overhauling the Alien, I mean maybe improving the AI as much as you really can from the first game's iteration, and then giving the Alien different ways to hunt. Like crawling or staying on a wall or ceiling and then waiting for you to enter the room. Perhaps even having the alien baiting you in some way, like leaving ammo out in the middle of rooms, and then if you don't notice the saliva coming down from on top of it, you get some sort of crazy death animation. This, on top of iterating some more on it adapting to your gameplay style, like checking more and more lockers if you keep hiding in them, or taking less and less damage from flamethrowers as you keep using it, would be great. Like maybe the alien notices it's being heard and you're using sound cues too much to your advantage. So it gets a really rare super stealth mode where it only has visual cues to pick up and if you aren't attentive enough, it could be lights out for you. Now that about wraps it up for my top 3 things I think this game needs, but I do have two honorable mentions that I think would be really cool to see and I don't think the game necessarily needs but I think would be amazing features to add. So really quickly, let's break into these two, making it essentially now a top 5 list. One would be being on a planet setting instead of a ship or station setting. I think this would be really cool to see and refreshing, and I would love to see their take on a Weyland yutani mining colony or some sort of abandoned or non-colonized planet, but again, isn't something that would necessarily have me hating on it if it wasn't in the game. And two would be incorporating some sort of co-op mode for the game. Alien Isolation had speedrun and challenge maps that recorded scores on a leaderboard to go against other people. But, having a challenge mode where you both have to escape an alien or where there's only one escape pod left and you have to race other people to get to it first or choose to wait for the other people to get in would be pretty cool and intense. You could even do a mode of someone taking full on control of a xenomorph, but I feel like that one's asking way too much of the development team. Not to mention, if you throw in some ways of sabotaging the other survivors that queued up with you, this could make for a hilarious and terrifying mode for sure. It's something I always wished Alien Isolation had in it, but I feel like I would probably be in the minority on this one, since a lot of people think more people in a horror game means it would be less scary overall. But that's enough for me on my list of everything I think needs to be included in an Alien Isolation sequel. Let me know what you guys want to see from an Alien Isolation 2 in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed or found it entertaining, make sure to scroll down and make that like button glow so we can reach our like goal of 25 likes for this video. While you're down there, consider subscribing as we'll be covering Alien Isolation 2 as updates come out, other AAA games throughout the year, hilarious content, and more. Also, if you guys are interested in joining our Discord community where I keep you guys in tune and in line with everything coming out for the channel, the link for our Discord will be linked down below. As always, your support through your viewership, liking, and subscribing is always greatly appreciated and helps me out tremendously against the terrifying Xenomorph threat that is the YouTube algorithm. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to catch you guys next time. Peace! Thank you.